So today we are going to be catching a few sticklebacks for my aquarium and we'll hopefully catch them. It's starting to rain which is a wonderful uh, thing and um, I think I might wait for the rain to pass a bit and come back just there. It's really overgrown. The water level has like tripled at least. So um, yeah, hopefully we'll get some sticklebacks. So finally here we have a few sticklebacks, look there we go, there's a nice sized one, quite large, they're all very lightly coloured since they've been in my little tub, I hope it's not stressed, but I just think it's camouflage, I think, I think, I'm not 100% sure, that I might put back some of the really small, the smaller ones, there's a few tiny tiny ones, like really really small, so I'm going to keep this one and this one definitely and maybe this one and the other one here which is also decently sized and put back the smaller ones here so i'm now back at home and i'll be putting my sticklebacks in here so the water temperature is very very different this is i think i'd estimate about like 16 degrees 15 degrees this here is cold like really cold so probably like what 10 degrees or so so it's actually quite a difference so basically with fish what you're supposed to do like acclimate them or something so basically give them time to get used to the other temperature like putting them in a bag and just leaving them on the water till like the temperature in the bag slowly changes but since i don't have a bag i'm just gonna like let a bit of water sort of just like dip in slowly slowly so that you kind of get this gradual change um so basically that's what i'm going to be try what i'm going to try to do and not have any dead fish so you see that i'm just going to put in a bit anyway this is probably going to take quite some time so you may notice that something has changed. I added an air pump. Why? Because the fish started air gulping. So basically air gulping. I don't know the like official term. I just call it air gulping. Basically it's the fish goes out to the surface, takes a breath, goes back down, takes a breath. It's like humans diving. Every so often you have to go up for a breath. And I was thinking, a fish can't live like that. Like... Fish have to hunt down at the bottom for little worms and stuff. They can't spend their time going up to the surface for, for, a, for a breath. So the pump was absolutely just fizzing everything. And I figured out that if I used one of these, cut a hole inside, all the air would actually come out of the hole. Which I, I thought it would like have less air in the tank. So it turns out I put one of these things here. So there's a hole there and there's one of these meaning that about half of the air comes out from here and about just a bit comes out from there meaning that I've just perfectly balanced how much air comes out of the pump and how much doesn't come out of the pump which is absolutely perfect. So um, they're doing fine. As you can see they're no longer going for breaks at the surface. They have enough oxygen in the water. There's quite some current. I'm not sure if the we hog lois like it or not, but I don't really care. The sticklebacks are priority as usual. Right, so basically today we are feeding my sticklebacks some blood worms from the shop. So I'm just gonna take a few. Oh no, I dropped them. I'm gonna take a few. Just gonna drop them in. They are really liking the blood worms. Thing is, is that earthworms are just usually way too big for sticklebacks. Just too big. But look at them. They're really enjoying their food. <laughs> 